coming home. He's coming home. He's coming home. Hey guys and welcome back to yet another video and I'm gassed. Obviously the coronavirus has probably ruined everything but no, that's not the reason. The reason is Ashraf Hakimi. Ashraf Hakimi has finally decided to come back. To Real Madrid. I know this is quite unofficial and too much of a statement from me, but believe it, man. Fabrizio Romano confirmed that via Twitter that it is most likely that Hashraf Hakimi is coming back to Real Madrid, and I am gassed. And after what he's done at Dortmund, I think it's safe to say that it will be very ignorant on Real Madrid's part if they don't go for him, man. Ashraf Hakimi has been pop 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 popping. But anyway. I mean, I'm gonna talk about whether this move is uh, right for Ashraf Hakimi and also for Real Madrid as well, for for us to get him back. You know, what am I talking about? Of course it's right! Are you dumb if you think if he doesn't need to come back? But anyway, I'm gonna talk about, you know, Ashraf Hakimi in general. I think in the past two seasons that he's been at Dortmund, in the 18-19 and the 19-20, obviously, you know, the season is a total bummer. But I think he's done quite well man he's done quite well the last season he did quite well this season too and has the third most market value among the Dortmund players in the Bundesliga so that's levels man and for that for a fullback is again out of this freaking world I mean I, I, I can't believe how happy I am to finally you know get to know that Zinedine Zidane is also now interested in Ashraf Hakimi and uh, uh, it, this just puts a smile on my face, man. This just, you know, is really good, amazing, well done. Now I'm going to talk about how Ashraf Hakimi might be fitted into this current Real Madrid squad. Obviously, if you look at how Ashraf Hakimi has been, his defensive game is not yet there. I mean, when it comes to his defensive game, I think it really needs some work as such if you look at the radar chart. But if you do look at his passing, his creation, and his attacking play, that's what we need, man. Like, don't get me wrong, like, Marcelo was amazing and will always have a place in my heart and all the hearts of the Madridistas. But when it comes to, you know, the current fullback situation, it's not in the greatest spots right now. I think with Marcelo's decline and Forlan Mendy's rise, Fallon Mendy is not so dynamic. Let's just get that straight. He doesn't really attack with such elegance like Marcelo. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Carvajal does, you know, you know put that attacking uh, play into his game. But he isn't, again, having the same elegance like Marcelo. He doesn't move with ease. It doesn't look easy, man, when it comes to Carvajal. Yes, he can sprint. Yes, he can make runs or whatever. But at the end of the day, you know, when it comes to dribbling or elegant passing I think you know Marcelo is just levels above many other fullbacks and he will always be up there when it comes to attacking play to this day but since we are losing out also on the defensive aspect of Marcelo's game I think it's quite important that we know that now Fallon Wendy will gradually take Marcelo's place and uh, it's just going to be the rise of Fallon Mendy from now on and Marcelo will gradually with his age play less and less of a role here at Real Madrid. But I'm excited, man. I, I don't see anything wrong with this. Marcelo had his time. He did amazing. But it's time to move to the next chapter, which is Fallon Mendy now. Now, Dan, Danny Carvajal has been slacking lately a bit. I wouldn't say he's done. He's over. Not at all close to that. Don't get me wrong. But with our attacking play wanting some elegance now on the full back side of the you know Real Madrid squad, we could for sure use someone like Ashraf Hakimi, man. Think about it. Fede Valverde and Ashraf Hakimi on the right. Ah! <laughs> Fede Valverde, Hakimi, both of them switching positions. Fede Valverde makes a run on the wing and Hakimi takes a roll of a right mid. Oh, this is going to be mad if he comes back, man. Let's not forget some things like the amount of possession that he loses for 90 minutes. It's like around an 18.4. Which is not great. I mean, we, 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 I mean, he is a fullback and he also has an attacking narrative to his game. So, is that normal? I mean, he should be maintaining a bit less than that for sure. But I think that when it comes to his errors, he needs to step up his game there. I mean, he needs to get the errors a bit down. 
But look at the creation, man. Look at the creation. His dribbles per 90 is 2.6. In the market, he is now the most valued fullback in the Bundesliga. And this will be phenomenal, man. Trust me. And, and I think it also comes down to the fact that Ashraf Hakimi is somewhat indebted to Zinedine Zidane for promoting him from Castilla and to give him a chance in the first team in the 2017 18 uh, season. We've seen him get some appearances in the Champions League. He also scored a goal against Sevilla in 17-18. So, it's, it's mad, man. It's mad. And I think the loan move was exactly, you know, really good. And he's done well. It's not like a whole Hamas Rodriguez situation where he's come, out, he's come back with nothing. We don't see... I don't see anything with Hamas Rodriguez now. What, with what intent Real Madrid sent him out, he did not come back with the same flair, man. In fact, I would say that he... He declined and I don't think he can even find a spot in the squad anymore. It doesn't look like he can. I really wanted him to improve because I like James Rodriguez a lot. But enough about James Rodriguez. Ashraf Hakimi, I feel that because he also admires Zinedine Zidane so much and also because Zinedine Zidane thinks he has a very important role to play and even I see, you know, Ashraf Hakimi occupying a really very good role. I think this will move, this move will be phenomenal, man. Because now on the left we are not equipped attacking wise. We're not equipped that well, and uh, you know Ashraf Hakimi also can play as a winger, man. And I think that's a another that's another aspect to his game. And since Ashraf Hakimi also takes the role of a winger quite well, I think that's a major step up as well for Real Madrid in terms of attacking options or defensive options here and there. He will be a very good wing back man is what I'm saying. Defending wise, yes, he doesn't engage that much. You know, he just engages, you know, in uh, two tackles merely in 90 minutes. And out of those two tackles, he has a success rate of 1.3 every 90 minutes. I mean, it's decent at best. And I think that he can also go into duels more. But I think it requires more of the defensive part of his game to improve. But the guy is still young. He has so much time to improve. It's not like the whole Marcelo situation now where he has to play less and less of a role. Now is the time where he learns more and more and crafts his game amazingly, man. So I think Ashraf Hakimi's return will be phenomenal for Real Madrid. And yeah, Fabrizio Romano confirmed on Instagram that, you know, Ashraf Hakimi is coming back on a five-year contract and that's just mad. I'm so happy. I, and I know for a fact that Ashraf Hakimi, when he's going to come back, he will play a bigger and a better role than, than what he played in the 17-18. And 17-18, Danny Carvajal was the man. But after the heart surgery that he underwent, it's not really been the Danny Carvajal I've seen in the trilogy, in the Champions League trilogy. Okay, he's, bit, he's had a bit of a decline. And it's not like he's finished as well. So... And Ashraf Hakimi can also play as a left back as well. So that also gives us versatility in his game that we should not miss out on. And uh, I just hope that this is not another Milita situation, man. Because Milita was so good in that right back position at Porto. But for some reason, he just uh, couldn't do it in the recent game against Real Betis. He just, uh, oh my God. I mean, I can't even describe his performance, man. It was one of the poorest fullback performances I've, I've seen in a while. But anyway, man, <laughs> Ashraf Hakimi is coming back. He's coming home and I am just buzzing. Take care. Stay at home. Don't be a prick and don't come out of your house, all right? If we just be patient for a few weeks, I'm sure this will all blow over and we'll be back to normal life. It's just that humans don't be pricks, all right? Okay, yeah, peace. Thank you very much. Can we talk it to you?